Finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. What's up, kids? We're back with another episode of Starly Parable. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one you to do don't this, troll me to reach out nobody to trolls me except if Nico. you can truly place your faith oh no 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 you can't did you just unplug the phone? I did now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice how did you do that you actually chose incorrectly I didn't even know that was possible me neither. let me double check just got told me I could do it no it's definitely here clear as day Stanley picks up the phone he's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another That's not true. music comes in fade to white roll credits That's not, true. not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action how is that even possible none of these decisions were supposed to mean anything I don't understand how on earth are you making meaningful choices what did you wait a second did I just see no, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Are you serious? Please observe this helpful instructional are video. Are you serious? Are you see are you serious? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. I'm being taught or how to be a human. he systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Are you serious with me right now? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Oh, wow. 
But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago no. and see what the correct no. thing to do no. would have no. been. No. This way, please. Let me check uh, face. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. It's face punch. Huh. Didn't change that much though. Okay, let me see. Face punch. What? Why is it not working? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, wow. we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I mean, we just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. This place is not equipped to deal with reality. Wow. That's, that's some awesome stuff right there. You want me to go back? Is that what I should do? Should I just... Uh, I should just go back. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, so I have to force you to escort me all the way back to the start of the game. But, uh... Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I am already in the real world. What? Real world? Did I say real world? Oh my god. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Mm -hmm. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh no, okay, I can't do anything. Jesus. Wait, what is it in this room? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! I did not... Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much the garbage. Views. Well, the it's views. It's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? I am a YouTuber. I need the views. I'm continue, sorry, man. Would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I mean, I'll have to live with it forever. That's my existence. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't I live know that how, way. I know how you is feel. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No, no. To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. Oh, okay. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to Everything shut the game okay. down. I have to. I have don't to. Don't shut the game down. Oh, Jesus! What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh no, he did it. He actually did it. He's an insane beast. Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. I am clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you <laughs> run it into the ground. <laughs> what, did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see? Yes. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stan? No! He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to I do something, there's a damn good reason I for it. I am not your... Nope. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? I'm a free man. But there's a world outside of you. You're a child. I am a child. What, do you think I was an adult oh. playing this game? <sighs> My story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. I mean, it would have been so I perfect. I could have said no. I worked you so hard me. on it. I tried so hard. Is behaving.
behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, what should I do? Left or right? I don't know, man. You want to see what I do? You want to know where I go? You got to stay for the next episode. So I guess that'll be peace out. And I'll see you around. Also, remember to check out every link that I'm leaving in the description and on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and... Why is that sound? Wait, I have, I'm not even done speaking. Yo!